Grizzle has the pleasure of sitting down with Ernest Cleave, the CFO of Largo. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And just starting off, can we maybe go over, you know, what Largo is, what your company does? Sure. Um, Largo is a very successful producer of vanadium. Uh, we've been in the vanadium industry for over a decade. Uh, we're the world's largest producer, primary producer of vanadium. We represent about 7 or 8% of world supply. Um, we have the highest grade vanadium deposit in the world, in Bahia, Brazil. Uh, and we're one of only two producers in the world that uh, sell high purity vanadium. So we're a very significant player, proud to be in the vanadium space. And can you tell us a bit about vanadium as a, as a critical metal for this energy transition, the importance of it? Yes. Um, if you think about vanadium right now, it's actually already contributing to carbon reduction because you use vanadium as an additive in steel. So it lightweight steel and re reduces carbon emissions significantly. So that's, that's a current use case for vanadium. But if you look to the future, Vanadium is also used, for instance, and this is a business that we also have within our portfolio, and vanadium redox flow batteries, which support renewable sources of energy um, and can support grid storage uh, for, for energy. And let's talk about the vanadium redox flow batteries a bit more. What are the key advantages it has over other batteries for laptops or EVs? Right, so I should start off by saying that you're never gonna see a vanadium redox flow battery on your wrist or on your laptop. Um, so they're larger batteries, they, they're not as uh, energy dense as a lithium ion battery, uh, but they have some very unique ca characteristics. So a vanadium redox flow battery doesn't degrade. So effectively you can get a use of fruct out of that vanadium for 25 years. And that bifurcation of energy and power is what's so important for vanadium redox flow batteries. So we can be very cost competitive at long duration and we're inherently safe. If you look at a lithium ion battery, that's not the case. So it's certainly, if you look at our major competition right now, which obviously is lithium ion, there are many benefits to vanadium redox flow batteries. And could you give us an overview of the vanadium market and the supply versus demand dynamics at play? Yeah, so very simplistically, about 70% of world supply comes out of Russia and China. And that supply is all byproduct production. So in the steel making process, um, there's a slag that's produced um, and vanadium is refined out of that slag. So Largo conversely is a primary producer. There are two other primary producers in South Africa. And so the primary producers plus some other smaller companies make up the remaining 30% of supply in the world. What are some of the key catalysts for Largo going forward? Yeah, so very importantly, we're, we're on our path of, uh, of really, really growing and supporting our fledgling vanadium redox flow battery business. So we have our inaugural project, which is being delivered in Mallorca, Spain, with a very large energy utility company called Enel. Uh, we'll be delivering that within the next couple of months. So that's very important for us. And then from that point onwards, we're looking to grow the business. One of the important ways that we will do so is we signed a memorandum of, um, of understanding with Insolda Green Tech in Italy, another very major uh, player in the European space. Um, and this is, this is going to be the vanguard of what we do in Europe. Um, and then we'll also predicate our success largely in the US as well. So we're very excited for that energy business. Well, definitely a lot to think about. Thank you so much. That was Ernest Cleave, the Chief Financial Officer of Largo. Thank you so much.